really only takes a couple inches of water during a tsunami to sweep an adult person off their feet. Rule number one, if you live in California, be prepared for all types of natural disasters. That includes tsunamis. Just be conscious of your surroundings. Know where you're at, know which way you need to go, know what your escape route is. Jerry Hemmingson has lived in Crescent City his entire life and experienced the power of a tsunami firsthand, including the devastating 1964 tsunami that killed 10 people, destroyed 54 homes, and caused $16 million in damage. Jerry was just 11 years old. Around here, I have about 20 minutes. Uh, if you feel an earthquake, you got about 20 minutes. But tsunamis aren't always triggered by an earthquake, as we experienced this past January, when an underwater volcano near the island of Tonga erupted, triggering an air shock wave that circled the globe three times, sending tsunami waves as far as the California coastline, nearly 5,300 miles away. Overall, it was an extremely unusual occurrence. Volcanoes are responsible for only about 5% of tsunamis. Usually those have more of a local impact. Um, so this was really the first one that we've experienced that actually traveled across the Pacific Ocean um, and impacted us here on our coast. So what are the warning signs of an impending tsunami? So those include a unusual sound in the ocean, similar to a roar, something different than you would normally hear the wind waves when you go to the ocean, or you may see the water unusually receding back, so not your normal ebb and flow of the tide or if they feel prolonged, strong shaking. That's another indication that a tsunami could occur. And if a tsunami is going to make landfall? Uh, how about, you know, know where you're at, know which way you need to go, know what your escape route is. Move away from the coast and to do so safely. So make sure um, that you immediately check around your area for additional hazards and make sure you move as quickly as you can away from the coast. It's also important to stay on higher ground until you get the all clear. They don't just stop. It's not like one wave comes in and goes out and then that's the end of it. Not just ours, but I think it lasted throughout the day and maybe even into the next day to where we were still getting surges. That was the 2011 tsunami that was triggered from a 9.1 earthquake near Honshu Island, Japan resulting in one death and $20 million in damage to Crescent City. It oftentimes is not the wave coming in that does the damage, it's when the water recedes and goes back out. After living through two deadly tsunamis, Jerry's biggest piece of advice is pretty simple, but often overlooked. I would say don't go down there and get in the way like we did. We kind of we got in the way. You cannot outrun a tsunami. So again, if you move down to the water and, and see one coming, it, it's going to be too late. You're not going to be able to outrun it. For more information on tsunami preparedness, go to news.caloes.ca.gov and follow us on all our social media platforms.